Coming from nothing, as uh, during the war days, nervous at nothing. Boxing gave me an avenue out of North Tidwell, a way to travel. Me and my audience used to listen to the wireless. You had people boxing then, like Joe Baskey, Bruce Wilcox, Freddie Mills, Lee Omer, Americans. When did you first in your fight? Uh, I should imagine back in 1949, right, when I was 11 years of age. And once you smell that leather as a schoolboy, you never forget it. It's the same when you, when you enter a boxing gymnasium, right? There's a smell there of dirty leather or sweaty leather and sweaty bodies and it, it never leaves you. And once you've been in the gymnasium a year or two and you get used to wrapping your own bandages, fetching your own Vaseline, you know, it, it becomes a way of life. It, it gets an older you. I was a collier for many years. When I come home from work, I saw I wanted to go to sleep. My mother would make me a big dinner. And I'd eat that and I'd go on a settee for half an hour or three quarters an hour. Then to get up and go training, then like, no, but you loved the game so much, you done it. But the people like Howard Winston, the, the great Howard Winston, he was the man who won the belts in his town. Him and Johnny Owens and, and Eddie Thomas. I sparred with them quite often. I trained Johnny Owens. You wouldn't have to ask Howard or Johnny Owens to get up in the morning, go to the road and do 10 miles. They'd be pouring rain, snow, they'd be up in it, and, and that's dedication. Worst thing that ever happened is to get stopped. When you get stopped in a fight, if you, if you fight somebody and you get stopped, your pride is hurt immensely. You wanted to win that fight so much, you put so much into it, and you put so much background training into it, and then all of a sudden, jump is over in two rounds. The chin stays there, down, and the hand stays there. And this is a tin opener, right? It's the one that opens them up. And when you go out in the street, right, you don't act like hooligans. You go out there and you act the gent. Quietly, you, if you take up boxing and you go to the gym, you'll find when you walk out that gym, you've changed. And you don't want to be the rough guy or whatever, right? It learned me a discipline uh, and respect for other people.